Well, this was my first movie. Uh, I had been in plays before, and but Victor saw one of the plays I was in, and he thought that I would do well as Kiki. And I was never really sure how a movie would be. It's very different from plays, but I was really excited to be a part of this film in the story that it told. Uh, the f***ing money, man. So, yeah, I had that background which helped for Helen because she's very, um, singy. I mean, you know, she's not a singer character-wise, but she is a person who sings all the time, so my being a singer was helpful with that, and, uh, yeah, so I thought the story was cool to tell, and I wanted to tell it. You want to know why I did this? Call me Ishmael, right? People know what that means. It's a traveler. Bobo didn't want to just be known as Bobo. He was Bobo the Hobo. And his story is one of, of someone who travels, who sojourns. And so I had to write this movie and, and, and film it, bring people in who knew him. Because Bobo the Hobo is us. Well, in my, the favorite scene I filmed was I had to wrangle a chicken and wring its neck. Well, I never thought I would do a clown movie because my mother was a clown, which is kind of ludicrous, definitely, but true. And uh, that was kind of upsetting to me, so I never thought I would be a part of it. But um, I have to say that working with Charles when he was in his full Bobo makeup were my favorite scenes because I feel like the Bobo character is so strong and it was just fascinating. It's really interesting to work with somebody in that much makeup, you know, because uh, it's like they're wearing a mask and it's hard to do that kind of work. So those were the most challenging for me and that, you know, Charles was my, um, that's such a big part of my life personally also made that interesting. So that's my favorite part. <laughs> it, well, I think the elephants were kind of like using really huge props, but they were, they were really easy to deal with. I mean, they were well trained, but so incredibly massive that you really had to focus on yourself as a character to see how someone would really be around an elephant. The elephant patties were everywhere. There really, <laughs> there wasn't a single person that worked on the film who didn't step in one at least once. Here's one word for you. P. Ew. People question bringing in elephants to this movie, but I think they're crucial. Just like the whale was crucial to the movie Moby Dick. Because there's something about the big things in life that we can't define. When a whale is in the water, you you can't see it all. It's obscured by the water. And if you were to pull it out, then it's a dead animal. It's not it's no longer a whale. And the elephant represents that in our movie. The unknown, the mysterious. And the thing about it is a whale is big. An elephant is big. But Bobo's life was even bigger. Charles was my lover. Charles is dead. Charles drowned himself in a vat of elephant shit because he couldn't go on living because he wasn't Bobo or couldn't be Bobo. And Bobo was dead, so he should be dead. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. He's dead. I don't... So I'm in a bathtub. And... Um... He was a really good actor, and he was a 
crappy person and I loved him and why do I hang out in a bathtub? Because it makes me feel cleaner. If you find someone in a vat of elephant dung, it's hard to feel clean again. Think you're gonna save someone from drowning in crap? Get you dirty and I, you know, if I hang out in here, it makes me feel cleaner. So that's where I hang out, in the bathtub. What happened to Charles is a tragedy. He was trying to be more Bobo than Bobo, and to be more Bobo than Bobo is a no-no. Charles, really? They spend that much time around an elephant You're going to get on. So what do I want people to take away from this movie, this story? Not a story, a life. If Moby Dick was the first postmodern story, then Bobo's life went even further than that. Bobo's life would be post-postmodern. Bobo the hobo is Popo Mo. What's not funny about death? Nothing. What's funny? Like, What's not funny? Yeah. Let's try like that. What's so just the not whole funny thing. about death? Nothing. 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 Nothing, 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 nothing. What's not funny about death? Nothing. He was the funniest man I've ever known. And now he's the deadest man I've ever known. See what I mean?